In Houdini, if we press the C key in the network viewer, this brings up a menu with a bunch of color presets, which we can color our network items to, like this. But let's say you wanted a completely different color than any of the predetermined ones here. Well, one thing you can do is actually right click one of these colors and press edit color. And this will bring up a color picker and choose any color you would like. We can see that this color has now changed. And if I select my items and click this color, we can see that these have now been changed into that color. And if you would like to restore the default color, just come back here and right click and press reset to defaults. And we can see that we have the old color back. But let's say you wanted something a bit more user friendly and not have to manually edit these every time you want to change your colors. Well, we can write a really simple Python script to do this. So what this script does is if I select my colors and I press my hotkey, this brings up a color picker. And again, I can come and change this to any color I would like. And you can see my notes now change. And this lets us select any color, regardless of what these presets might be. So let's take a look at this Python script. Let's start off by creating an empty shelf where we will store our tool. So let's press this plus icon and do new shelf tab. Just call it whatever you would like and accept and we can right click this shelf and press new tool which brings up a window that will let us write some custom code let's first give the tool a name just call this color picker and for the script this is where we write our custom python code let's import the who module i'm not sure if this is necessary but i think it's good practice anyways and let's fetch our selected items and store them into a array called a cell and the reason i'm not doing selected nodes and i'm doing selected items is because our selection might be one of these sticky boxes or an element that's not a node and selected items just make sure that this selection will encompass any network item even though that item might not be a node let's do an error check so let's say if the user doesn't select anything, we want this tool to error. I'm going to say if the length of our selection is less than or equal to zero, I'm going to do a display message like this. And if the user selected something, or in other words, else, let's start off by storing the color of the last item in this array. So last item is the cell minus one. And the color of that item is going to be last item dot color. So this fetches a Houdini color, which is the current color of the final selection. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want the color picker to default to the color of the node that's selected and not reset to white every time I launch the tool. Now to create a UI color picker, I'm going to use the who.ui select color node uh, function. And we can see that this takes an argument, which is the initial color. And by default, this is none, which is what we don't want. So let's store the current color of our last selected item into the default color like this. Then I'm going to do for item in our selection, which is looping over all of our selected items. Let's just set the color to that color, which the user picked. Let's apply and let's set a hotkey. And before we do this, let's see if the tool actually works. So let's select some items and press the color picker. We can see that this brings up a color picker and let's select a color and press OK. And we can see that this is working. So let's create a custom hotkey for this. And I'm going to do Control, Shift and C, which is the same as what we use in Duke. So let's do that. Apply, accept, apply, accept. And let's press our hotkey. And we can see we can now change our node colors 
to anything we would like to, regardless of the C menu here. So yeah, I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching.